Hey, we're a primitive evolution. And you're watching So Fucking Cool magazine. So Becoming came out in 2018 uh, through Metropolis Records. Who was the producer on that one? Uh, well, the producer is kind of a mixed bag. Um, we had like myself and the band, we do a lot of like the pre-production and writing and kind of choosing the vibes of the song. Mm. Uh, and then we actually took it to a couple people. We were kind of shopping it around a bit. And um, we hooked up with Ian DeSoff from the band Billy Talent. Mm. Uh, he's a huge like local music supporter in Toronto and he's always out at the bars checking out bands. And uh, Stu and him actually go way back to like the early days of Billy Talent when Stu used to run, uh, well, he still does run Play Dead Cult, and they used to print all the Billy Talent shirts and stuff. So those guys go like back to the early beginnings of that band. So Ian's always kind of been interested in the band, and we, we finally sent him some stuff from Becoming, which he like really responded well to, and we started working on a couple tracks. So. We did co we did some co-writing with him, and he produced like three songs on the record. Um, so it was really nice to like kind of get a chance to collaborate with someone like that, and he was amazing to work with. Yeah. Now, how is the the reception of being, uh, becoming in the states? Oh, uh, actually, well, it's this is our first tour. We're about to find out. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. You know, this is your first time ever in the states. Period. We we did a with small run mm. six years ago. Oh, wow. On our last record cycle. Wow. Um, so this is our first time supporting Becoming in the States, which we're really excited to finally do. Um, since we released the record, we've, we've literally been scouring the earth for bands to tour with. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of took this long to get a tour going that was with the right people and the right bands. Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. So finally, we're here to support it. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you guys plan on going to uh, Europe after this? or we're, We hope so. Yeah. Again, it's the same thing where it's like, you just got to like kind of pound the pavement and find whatever you can or find a band that wants to take you out or, or hook up with some people that can promote you over there. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how... Um, How's the evolution, like, what, what is the evolution of the songwriting process? Because I know, like, it, actually listening to your music, you know, you, you're not afraid to kind of dive into the darker topics of human human life. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was just kind of wondering, because you, you've had a 10-year, almost a 10-year career now. Yeah. You know, kind of, how, how has that process of songwriting kind of changed for you? you know? Right. Hmm. That's a good question. We've always been sort of... Um... A very collaborative band between like Stephanie, myself, and Stu. Mm. Um, so we'll we'll jam a lot. Like usually, a song will start in a jam of some sort. Yeah, like we'll we'll just have we'll uh, like, we record all our jam sessions mm. and then kind of review them afterwards. Like after some time has passed and like we have fresh ears and we like pick out okay that worked that didn't that worked okay let's make it a song. Like, it's kind of methodical actually you're just pulling things and putting mm. them together and then yeah we'll we'll have like you know maybe like five hours of recorded jams mm. and then we'll just like like sift through them and find all the good riffs and then pull those and then we'll build songs out of those good that the riffs that we thought were cool essentially and then we kind of maybe it's like sort of like tool the way tool writes where like we sort of finish the song or build an idea and then we write the lyrics and melody to that piece that we created. It's very rare that I'll write like lyrics before the music or something like that. Mm. So, and we've always done it that way. On, on this record, there was a, like, because we did a couple co-writes with Ian mm. and we sort of like took a different approach a few times where like Stu would make a bunch of beats on his computer um, and we, he would just get, we, he would just bring like Hey, I made like six different beats yesterday. Like, let's see if any of these work. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of play the beat on repeat, and then like Steph would just jam. That's how we wrote the beauty. Actually, it was like it was just a uh, Stu just made that drum beat, threw it up on the computer, and then Steph just started kind of chugging along, and then it would just kind of like just it's one of those songs that just happens, which is always nice when they just kind of like the universe just gives you the shit and it's just like Bleh. and you don't really realize what's happened or just it just kind of really just comes out of you hmm. so those those are like the songs where you know 
that they should go on the record. Like you can tell right away if it's if it's a good song for you or not. So I find that that's where we kind of start. And then once we've got the kind of the vibe flushed out, then I'll start working with melody and and lyrics and just pulling stuff that kind of like whatever I'm feeling or just kind of I guess a lot of our songs are reflections on myself and humanity, I think. Uh, sort of fits in with the concept like the one thing we all decided on for the record is like what we wanted to talk about in in the content so it, it kind of became like let's imagine that we're not from earth and uh we're like a alien race that's descended upon it and how like we feel that we don't belong in this culture. Hearing the world from an outside perspective. Yeah, and it, like, it's like that feeling of being ourselves. an outsider. Yeah. Yeah, like it's something that you've said before. Like, you know, like, you know in jokes or whatever, you'll be like, I, I feel like I don't belong in this world. Or like, or like, you just see someone walking their dog and picking up their poop and like, what if aliens landed right now and they saw that interaction? <laughs> what would they think? Who would they think is the master there? <laughs> like, what, what is humanity? And what, why do we often feel so different from a lot of the rest of society? And so it was kind of like a lot of becoming talks about that. And like, um, what are we becoming? Or what have we become? And the process of all of that as a, as a whole. And almost written from an outside perspective, like looking down into us. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that kind of sums up. <laughs> That's where we got the idea from, anyway. <laughs> so, how have you guys um, matured? Because I mean, it's, it seems like you two in particular, in particularly, um, carry the torch for the group um, right. more so than you know the trio. Um, so, how how have you two kind of matured since Ape? You know. Yeah. Well, it's been a long time since we started this band. Um, Communication, we're get, getting better at communicating with each other. Yeah, and I feel like the the songwriting's grown. We we started as a very like you know we were just kind of doing the band for fun. Um, it was a way to like just have we're like okay no pressure let's just write music and and jam with Stu and make some cool stuff along the way and so the band started that way and then I feel like for becoming we we definitely took a more mature approach to what we wanted to say with the record and actually you know having a foundation for it yeah taking a more more structured approach for sure yeah and and, and approaching some labels and you know and maybe taking the actual like a second to look at the business side of things yeah Sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you t taking the time out of your day to have a conversation with us. You know, oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's, a, it, it's interesting to see, you know, uh, to listen to your music from Ape to the newest album, you know, and kind of feeling feeling that maturity through the music, you mm. know, and, um, you know, some of the more complex topics that you're willing to sing about and kind of, you know, um, but yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, yeah, you're welcome. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that it's apparent in the music. It's good. Yeah. To, yeah, that's awesome. It is. Yeah. Wicked. Well, thanks for having us. <laughs> no worries. Please come again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>